Welcome, my name is James McKeon. I'm a pre-sales consultant for Microfocus and today we're going to review the encrypt in place functionality that is provided with the voltage secure data integration for SDM. So we can make use of format preserve and encryption to preserve the format of the data so that unauthorized users can still recognize the data type although they will not be able to see the actual data content. So let's look at how this is configured. I have opened up the designer and I have a cartridge created which will perform the encryption. This is an in-place mask and cartridge. It is linked to the customer's all data model. This is a very simple data model which simply references the customer's table. Now moving over to the data mask and options. You will notice that I have selected the credit card column and I've also referenced or selected the the relevant format preserve and encryption groovy script that is provided as part of the integration for credit cards. I could also use format preserve and encryption on many of the other columns as well if I wish, but in this particular case I just want to use format preserve and encryption on the credit card number. So let's move over to SDM. Firstly I want to perform a data access query on the customer's list. So this will run a query. I would then like to select customer ID number one, which is Jack Jones. And this runs a report for Jack Jones. Now let's look at the credit card number. This is the credit card number, which I would like to use for my preserve and encryption on. And I would like to take a copy of that credit card number for reference in a moment. So this is of course the original credit card number. Now I'd like to use format preserve and encryption. So I would like to then run the business flow, which will use format preserve and encryption on that particular column. So I'm going to select business flow and launch, and then run the following business flow to then perform that encryption. So this business flow is linked uh, to the cartridge, which will perform that encryption. Once this is run, it will then use format preserve and encryption on that credit card number. It will preserve the first four digits. They will remain the same. However, all of the other digits will then be changed. This will allow the user to at least see that it is supposed to be a credit card number. However, it will conceal the real data content. So that job has completed. Now let's rerun that data access query. I'm going to rerun that data access query on the customer's list. And then refer back to Jack Jones, customer ID number one. Now let's look at the updated credit card number and compare that to the original. Now you will notice that the first four digits have been kept, uh, so they have uh, remained the same. However, the rest of the digits, as we can clearly see, have changed. So this has used format preserve encryption on the credit card number. And one of the benefits of this is that it's also reversible at a later point as well. So if I decided I want to reverse that decision, I wanted to revert to the original credit card number, I could then undo that business flow so if I go to business flow management again and select commands, we will notice here there is an undo option for that business flow. So if I click undo, this will then revert the credit card number to the original. So we are reversing that format preserve and encryption decision and we are then reverting to the original credit card number. So once this has completed, I will then rerun that data access query. As we can see, the job is completed successfully. Now, if I was to rerun that data access query for the customer's list. And again, I'd like to select customer ID number one, which is for Jack Jones. And now let's look at the credit card number and compare that to the original. And of course, we can see that this has been reverted. So in this case, we have been able to show 
uh, format preserving encryption being applied to a credit card number and then we are able to also show that this can be reversed as well so again format preserving encryption can be used to preserve the format of that data so unauthorized users can still recognize the data type although they will not be able to see the actual data content so this example showed credit card numbers however this could be used on many different columns thank you